Members Church of God International, abbreviated as MCGI, is an international Christian religious organization with headquarters in the Philippines. It started as a small group with less than a hundred believers in 1977. It is popularly known in the Philippines as Ang Dating Don, English, The Old Path, abbreviated as ADD, the title of its flagship radio and television program and currently the longest-running religious program in the Philippines with Brother Alicio Soriano as its overall servant, former title, presiding minister. Members Church of God International believes that the Almighty God, the Father sent His begotten Son, Jesus Christ, instrumental in the establishment of the Church of God, first planted in Jerusalem and preached by the Apostles. They believe that Gentile nations, including the Philippines, are partakers of the promise of eternal life, through belief in Jesus Christ and the Gospel and are not authorized by God to establish their own church, but mere members associated with the same body or the church written in the gospel by accepting it and executing the doctrines written by the apostles. Guided by this scriptural principle, the church's registered name contains descriptive words ang mga kaanid in Tagalog or members in English to emphasize the group's association today as members of the church of God that is already established long time ago and was written in the Bible. On April 25, 1980, in compliance with government regulations, Alicio Soriano registered the group with the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) as Ang Mga Kaanib sa Iglesia ng Dios K Cristo Jesus, Haligi at Salagan ng Katotohan, sa Bansang Pilipinas, English, Members of the Church of God in Christ Jesus, Pillar and Ground of Truth in the Philippines. In 2004, its registered name was changed to Members Church of God International. Tagalog, MGA Kaanib sa Iglesia ng Dios na Pandaigdig, in line with the Church's overseas expansion. For them, the Church's primary objective, as commanded by Jesus Christ, is to propagate the Gospel unto all nations until the consummation of the ages, convert sinners to believe and glorify God and to make them qualify for the eternal life in heaven. Currently, MCGI is present in six inhabited continents of the world with more than 1,360 established local congregations. Its flagship program Ang Dating Don is being broadcast in more than 70 countries, in five languages over terrestrial television, radio, internet and carried by at least seven satellites across the globe. They believe in God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but they adopt a non-Trinitarianism orientation, rejecting the Trinitarian concept that there is one God in three co-equal persons, which for them is against the Bible. They believe that the Father is greater than all, greater than Jesus Christ as declared by Christ himself. They do not observe customs and traditions which they consider to have pagan origins incompatible with Christianity. MCGI members prefer themselves to be called and identified as plain Christians. MCGI is not related to the many Church of God groups that descended from the Barney Creek Meeting House revival of the late 19th century in the United States. History The Members Church of God International in the Philippines rooted from a similar denomination, the Iglesia ng Dios K. Cristo Jesus, Haligi at Sahay ng Katotohanan, Church of God in Christ Jesus, Pillar and Support of the Truth, which was first led by Brother Nicolas Antaporta Perez in Pulilan, Bulacan, Philippines in 1928. On December 10, 1936, the church was registered with the Philippine government by Brother Nicolas Antaporta Perez as first church presiding minister with a central office in Natividad Street, Pasay, Rizal, now Pasay City. Since the year the church was established, church workers were being sent to the nearby provinces around Manila. Brother Nicolas Antaporta Perez, lead the church from 1928 until the time of his death in May 1975, the church was then a small group with less than 100 congregations. After Perez's death in 1975, Levita Gugulan, the Secretary General of the church, succeeded as presiding minister, Soriano countered the authority of Gugulan. On February 21, 1976, Brother Alicio Soriano, the only ordained minister by Perez, together with 16 other members created a schism and began a new church organization called 
MGA Kaanib Iglesia ng Dios K Cristo Jesus, Haliji at Salagan ng Katotohanan sa Bansing Pilipinas. Translated as Members Church of God in Christ Jesus, Pillar and Ground of Truth in the Philippine Nation, which was officially registered in 1977. In 1980, missionary works started and was first done in the towns of Pampanga and then the neighboring provinces of Bulacan, Rizal, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, and Metro Manila. In the last quarter of 1980, the church launched the radio program Ang Dating Don. Ad. Through the local radio station DWWA 1206 kHz, ADD was heard in many parts of the Philippine archipelago. The program became popular in the Philippines because of its live question and answer portion. In 1983, the program kicked off its national television appearance through IBC Channel 13. Ang Dating Don as a program in radio made its stint in RJTV 29, PTV 4, SBN 21, and now UNTV. In 2004, the church changed its name to Members Church of God International. On January 7, 2006, the first live Bible exposition in the United States was held in Los Angeles, California. In 2008, Bible expositions were conducted in the continent of Oceania bringing forth the first congregation in Papua New Guinea. In the same year, congregations were established in Ghana, West Africa as a result of a series of Bible studies in Africa. The early months of 2009 saw the church introduced in Latin America. A schism in MCGI happened in 2009 when Willie Santiago, one of the Bible readers of Brother Alicio Soriano in his radio and TV programs had a dispute over the church leadership succession in erratic changes in church doctrines, such as prostrating towards the East in prayer and Sabbath. This resulted 12 MCGI members including Willie Santiago to split from the group in October 2009 and established a new religion, the Members Church of God in Jesus Christ Worldwide or MCGJCW, with membership now consists mostly of former MCGI followers. Organization and administration the organization is managed by the MCGI Central Administration under the MCGI Workers' Ministry. It is composed of the overall servants, Tagalog, MGA Lingkod Pangkalahatan, Council of Helpers of the Ministry, Tagalog, MGA Katulong ng Pangangasiwa abbreviated as KNP, and Church Workers, Tagalog, MGA Mongagawa. Overall servants Currently, Brother Alicio Soriano is the overall servant, Tagalog, Lingkod Pangkalahatan, to MCGI formerly called as Presiding Minister or Tagapangasuing Pangkalahatan in Tagalog and his deputy, Brother Daniel Razon is the Vice Overall Servant, Tagalog, Pangalawang Lingkod Pangkalahatan, formerly called as Vice Presiding Minister or Pangalawang Tagapangasuing Pangkalahatan in Tagalog. They supervise the entire organization, implement policies and projects, teach the helpers of the ministry, formerly called as assistants to the administration, ministers in charge, abbreviated as Mike, and officers in charge, abbreviated as OIC, and church workers all the doctrines of Christ and oversee rightful execution of duties and responsibilities assigned to them, including other officials in various church ministries and organizations. The overall servant prepares the outline of biblical topics Tagalog, Paksa, and preach sermons. A part of it will be delivered and discussed by his deputy. Preaching of biblical topic is done by the overall servants, either live or recorded, which is being aired in all MCGI local congregations. They also personally take time to resolve spiritual and personal problems of members every Thanksgiving gathering, during the consultation period. Helpers of the Ministry and Workers Helpers of the Ministry supervise a church. Division. Tagalog, Dibisayan, referring to a geographical region in the Philippines or group of countries in a continent such as Asia Oceania. Area servants, Tagalog, Lingkod Pampuk, formerly called as Tagapangasuing Pampuk and abbreviated as TP, oversee a church. District. Tagalog, distrito, referring to one Philippine province. 
Assigned church workers administer various church services such as prayer meetings, worship services, indoctrination sessions, Bible studies, Bible expositions, and thanksgiving in local congregations. They are allowed to communicate official memorandum signed by the overall servants and preside over matters and activities concerning the local church. Brethren can personally seek spiritual or personal advice from workers, who were trained during ministerial classes, in giving biblical advice and recommendations. Funding Much of their funding is provided by voluntary contributions from members and personal donations from the overall servants. MCGI does not practice tithing and neither accept any contribution or donation from non-members nor offer any religious service in return for any financial payment. Geographic distribution and membership as of 2015, Members Church of God International has established more than 1,360 congregations in the Philippines and abroad, up from a total of 1,280 locales reported in 2014. Congregations are grouped into geographical divisions mainly the Philippines, South America, North America and Canada, Asia Oceania, Middle East and Europe, Israel and Africa Division. The official website of the church reported its presence in 46 countries and territories as of 2010. Since its arrival in South America in 2009, MCGI sees a growing number of locales in the continent. As of 2015, it reported 237 established locales in Brazil, including those in Curitiba, Porto Alegre, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, and Florianópolis. More than a hundred other locations in Brazil receive preaching through DVDs and internet streaming links. In Latin America, the church reported 195 established locales and another 60 locales currently being established, with only three countries left to reach. MCGI keeps a formal number of members but does not openly reveal it. In 2015, the church gained more than 20,000 new members through regular mass baptisms. Propagation and evangelism They believe that an important duty and obligation of the members of the church is to propagate the gospel on earth until the consummation of the ages. Alessio Soriano began his nightly town-to-town -town preaching in the 1970s but eventually realized that his lifetime is not enough to reach the entire Philippines. In the 1980s he decided to use emerging media such as radio and television. Radio and television The 30-minute AM radio program of Ang Dating Don began in 1980 followed by its television debut 1983 on IBC 13. Later, it was transferred to RJTV 29, PTV 4 and SBN 21. In 1999, the program was heard nationwide through DZRH, RMN and 100 Radio Natin stations. In 2004, UNTV 37 became its permanent home through a block time agreement with the Progressive Broadcasting Corporation. UNTV 37 is a free-to-air network and also carried by major cable networks and direct-to-home providers. In 2012 UNTV Radio Lane Verdad 1350 kHz was launched covering Mega Manila. TV Verdad A, English, Truth TV, was founded in 2009. It airs O Caminho Antigo, the Portuguese version of Ang Dating Don through local channels in Brazil. Later, TV Verdade became the free television arm of Members Church of God International when it was granted a permit by the Ministerio das Comunicacos English, Ministry of, Communications of Brazil to build and operate its own broadcast network. Currently, MCGI operates five relay stations in Minas Gerais, the second most populous state in Brazil. TV Verdade is currently rolling out more than 20 relay stations in the state of Parana starting with the activation of its relay station in Cornelio Procopio. In 2012, the church launched TV La Verdad, English, Truth TV, its broadcast arm for Spanish-speaking countries airing the 24-7 broadcast of El Camino Antiguo in El Salvador. Between 2010 and 2011, the church reached the airwaves of India, Uruguay, Argentina, Bolivia and Portugal by acquiring timeslots in local television channels. To further boost viewership, it acquired a 30-minute slot in Fox Channel which is carried by 50 cable networks in Central America and South America. 
Later, the church acquired time slots in Chile, Paraguay, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Guatemala. In 2013, the program was aired in Mexico via Gala TV. It was followed by broadcasts in Dominican Republic, Spain, Equatorial Guinea and soon in Cuba. In December 2016, TV Verdade HD was launched in high-definition HD format 1080p for households in South America including Central America and some parts of North America via SES-6. Satellite broadcast in 2004, MCGI tapped Globecast to air the top channel in United States and Canada via a direct-to-home satellite broadcast. In 2010, it was aired in the Philippines via Dream Satellite TV. Currently, MCGI programs reach more than 70 countries in six inhabited continents via TV Verdade, TV La Verdad, The Truth Channel and UNTV using the services of at least seven satellite providers. Online media In 1999, the Church joined the World Wide Web when it launched the www.angdatingdon.org with video streaming feature. Its English version www.theoldpath.tv went online in 2004. The international website of the Church went online www.mcgi.org in 2009. In 2007, Alicio Soriano published his official blog site, esoriano.wordpress.com and another blog, Controversy Extraordinary, CX, in 2014. CX is an expository blog, in five languages, which tackles issues about religion. It has more than 4.5 million page views as of May 2016. In 2012, the church introduced the MCGI Broadcast app. For Google Android and Apple iOS devices where viewers can watch its programs in four languages. Print media The church distributes print and digital materials for free. It publishes the Top Magazine, Believer News Magazine, and a newspaper called Magangdang Balita. English, Good News. Soriano's online blogs are also compiled and printed as the Blog Magazine. The Church has also been acknowledged by the Philippine Bible Society as a regular donor and major distribution partner of Tagalog Bibles. Copies of full-length Ang Dating Don episodes are also distributed in DVD format. Beliefs and Fundamental Doctrines God the Father, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit Members Church of God International believes in the Almighty God, the Father, the Begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit but it adopts a non-Trinitarianism orientation. The Church rejects the traditional doctrine of Trinity mainly on its concept that there is one God in three co-equal persons, which for them, is against the Bible. The Church believes that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are not perfectly equal with each other. Adherents believe that the Father and Christ are greater than the Holy Spirit which is being sent by the Father and Christ. They also consider the Father is greater than Jesus Christ, the Head of Christ and greater than all. The Almighty God is also called as God of Israel, citing Exod 5-1, the Creator of the Universe, Acts chapter 14 verse 15, with His Son, Jesus Christ, John chapter 1 verses 1-14. God cannot lie. God is not omniscient, he does not know ahead of time all future human actions and choices, and God is not omnipresent, he created hell but is not there. Jesus Christ is the Father's only begotten Son, in Romanized Greek, monogenes theos, as mentioned in John chapter 1 verse 18. For them, Christ is the wonderful, counselor, a true and mighty God, Prince of Peace referred in Isa 9-6. He is the only Savior of mankind and the only way to the Kingdom of God in Heaven, Acts chapter 14 verse 15, 1 Cor 8 to 5 minus 7, John chapter 14 verse 6, 14 to 1. He is recognized as the Apostle, High Priest, Heb 3 to 1, and Mediator, 1 Tim 2 to 5 of the Church. They believe that Christ descended on earth from the bosom of the Father, suffered for the redemption of sin, died on the cross, resurrected after three days, ascended to heaven and sat on the right side of God.
Christ is talking and acting according to the instruction of the Father, John chapter 12 verse 49, 519, 1410. The Church believes in the pre-existence of Jesus Christ in spirit before he was born and manifest in flesh and already teaching the prophets by his spirit. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. Citing John chapter 14 verse 26, sent by the Father and Christ, to give spiritual happiness and to help the brethren in his or her weaknesses, and to console a believer in times of persecution and trials, Ram 8 26. Prayer Prayer is a basic doctrine in MCGI. All church gatherings, either spiritual or socio-civic, begin and end with prayers. The Church believes that it is a commandment of God to live a prayerful life based on 1 Thes 5.17. Praying repetitiously is prohibited. To encourage its members to pray, MCGI launched an exclusive 24-7 prayer service website on March 6, 2011, enabling access to continuous singing of praises and hourly community prayer to God. They believe that it is prohibited to pray in public just to be seen, Matt 6-5. As a discipline, they refrain from showing the act of praying on their television broadcasts, either live or recorded, in public. In November 2013, MCGI launched a community prayer service on UNTV and Radio La Verdad 1350 AM. However, only the audio of the community prayer is being aired, to encourage non-brethren to join and participate in praying to God, without necessarily being seen publicly. Bible MCGI believes that only the Bible or the Holy Scriptures, composed of 66 inspired books, teaches the full wisdom of God for the salvation of man and that no other books should be used as basis for serving God and Jesus Christ. Relevance of the Church Members of the Church of God International believe that the Church built by the Father through Jesus Christ is relevant to salvation. They also believe that the Church has a vital influence in a person's thinking, character, priorities and beliefs. The Church of God in the Bible Jesus Christ established the Church Matt 16, 18, the Church of God 2 Cor 1 2 1, 1 Tim 3 15, not his own but of the Father, Heb 3 4. It is the congregation of the apostles, prophets, teachers and others, and was first planted in the city of Jerusalem, where the preaching of salvation started, Luke chapter 24 verse 47, which was later on scattered and preached by the apostles in different parts of Asia Minor, Acts chapter 8 verse 1, Gal 122, they believe that God is calling those people with determination to serve him, bringing them in his fold, 1 Pet 1 15-16, 1 Cor 1-9, 1-2, teaching them righteousness after baptism, for their sins to be covered by the priceless blood of Christ, poured in Mount Calvary, for the redemption of sin, to make them qualify for life eternal in heaven, Phil 1 27, EPH 2 10, 4-1, 4 10, 4 14, MCGI teaches that Jesus Christ loved the church, sacrificed and gave himself for it, and he will save the church, EPH 523. Christ is the head of the body or the church call 118. Inside the Church of God, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostles teach the pure and undefiled religion, written as Threskia in the Greek Bible, pronounced as Threski, ah, which means worshipping, or the observance of something related to worship. It is where the true religion and worship is being practiced. People of God in the Last Days Members of the Church of God International believe that prophecies written in the Bible are being fulfilled in our days, and the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Rev. 19.10. They believe that there will be God's people at the time of the end or in the last days, citing a prophecy written in Dan 12-4, 12-9-10. For the MCGI, the advent of the preaching of the true church. Among the Gentiles, referring to all nations outside of Israel, EPH 211-12, including the Philippines, is a fulfillment of a biblical prophecy in Mal 111 which states that the name of the Lord God of Israel shall be great among the Gentiles, and will start from the rising of the sun even unto the going down of the same. The people of God will offer incense, not a literal incense, but prayers, 
Rev 5 to 8 to the God of Israel, they also believe that the prophecies written in Isa 24:15 and Jer 30 to 19-24 were fulfilled in the Philippines and the Church of God International. Prophet Isaiah mentioned about people giving glory to the Lord God of Israel in the coastlands of the sea in the east, Revised Standard Version, and Isles of the Sea in the East. King James Version. The MCGI says that the Philippines is a nation with 7,107 islands, geographically located in the far east direction in the Pacific Ocean, formerly called as Las Islas Filipinas, English, Philippine Islands, in honor of King Philip II of Spain. According to MCGI, it is the only country in Asia that believes in the Bible and that takes the Bible as the authority of their faith. Meanwhile, Jeremiah mentioned about people of God in the last days, who will come out with praises and thanksgiving unto the God of Israel. Their nobles shall be of themselves. And. Their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. They. Will start from few. But God promised that. I will multiply them. And. They shall not be small. They believe that Prophet Jeremiah was ordained by the Lord as. Prophet unto the nations. Based on Jer 1-5, the MCGI says that aside from starting as a small group in the East direction, it is the only congregation in the Last Days that offers a weekly sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the God of Israel. Further, their overall servant came from among the group he leads and did not came from any other religious group and currently in the West to preach the gospel. Members of the Church of God in Bible They believe that Gentile nations including the Philippines, are partakers of the promise of eternal life 1 John 2 verse 25, through belief in Jesus Christ and the Gospel, but are not authorized by God to establish their own church, but mere members associated with the same body or church EPH 3-6, call 118, 1 Cor 1227, written in the Gospel, by accepting and executing the doctrines written by the Apostles 1 John 1 verses 3-4. The MCGI teaches that we are commanded by God to cleave with the right group, Rom 12 to 9, to have fellowship, 1 John chapter 1 verses 3 to 4, with God and Jesus Christ, and to disassociate ourselves with false preachers or groups, especially to idol worshippers, as mentioned in Rom 16:17-18 and 2 Cor 6:17. The Church Mission. The MCGI believes that Jesus Christ delegated the task of preaching the Word of God, on a global scale, to his apostles based on Matt 28 to 19-20 and fulfilling this commandment as their primary objective. MCGI aims to propagate the gospel on earth until the consummation of the ages. They believe that only the church can teach the wisdom of God for the salvation of mankind citing Luke chapter 8 verses 1 to 3, EPH 3:10 and 2 Tim 3:14-17. They believe that this effort is geared towards converting sinners to believe and glorify God. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Eschatology and Resurrection MCGI believes that Jesus Christ will come again or will return to Gaulic Mulling Pararito rather than using the terminology Second Coming to Gaulic Akalawang Pigparito, which they consider a mistake by other religious denominations. They strongly believe that Christ came to the earth in many occasions already and his return will not be the second. Citing 1 Court 10 to 4 minus 5, they believe that certain and specific signs written in the book of Matthew will happen before the return of Christ. Jesus Christ will descend from heaven and those righteous, those saints who died in Christ mentioned in Rev 20-4 will be resurrected first. Those righteous who are still alive will be caught up together with the resurrected saints in the clouds, to meet Jesus Christ in the air citing 2 these 4-16-17. The Church believes that Jesus Christ will reign with his saints for another 1,000, 1,000, years citing Rev 20-4. Satan will be imprisoned during this period. The remaining people on earth who are still alive, those who were not caught up in the air to meet Christ, will be given a chance to salvation. After the 1,000-year period, another resurrection will occur. God will then judge all people, the living and the dead, according to what they have done. This will happen on God. 
S appointed day, the judgment day, or the last day, citing Acts chapter 17 verse 31. Those who will not merit salvation will be thrown into the lake of fire, Tagalog, Dagat Dagatanga Poi, the second death, the eternal punishment. After the judgment day will be the earth's destruction. Membership Baptism is a key part in their doctrines. Membership is conferred through immersion baptism of adults. Indoctrination classes are required prior to joining the organization. The classes are composed of nine lessons concerning church doctrines prepared by the overall servant, Alicio Soriano. Indoctrinees must fully accept the doctrines taught during the indoctrination before they can be baptized. The church rejects infant baptism. Members not living in accordance with the church's teachings may be excommunicated, or expelled, from the church. Members are required to be modest in dress and grooming. Women are prohibited from cutting their hair and wearing expensive jewelry and denim pants, and men are prohibited from having long hair. They are strictly prohibited from drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, using drugs, and gambling. Worship and church gatherings The congregation meets at least three sessions each week. Meetings are held at MCGI convention centers and monitoring centers, which are typically functional in character, and do not contain religious symbols except for the church logo and reminders for non-members that are prominently displayed. Gatherings are opened and closed with congregational singing of hymns led by the choir and brief prayers. The subject matter for most meetings is the same worldwide. Brethren kneel in prayer while guests are free to stay in their seats. They believe that Christian believers should always attend religious gatherings. Prayer meeting and worship service Prayer meetings are held midweek and worship services are held during weekends. In 2011, a Bible reading segment was added where a chapter or two of the Bible is being read. Meetings are devoted to the study of a biblical topic, divided in portions, and will be continued in succeeding meetings. Once a month, the congregation gather for a special prayer meeting, where a biblical topic is discussed in full. The prayer meeting has the same format with a worship service except that there are no voluntary contributions during prayer meetings. Thanksgiving and special events The church offers a weekly Thanksgiving to God, Tagalog, Pasalamat sa Dios. Brethren who have prepared themselves to offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving will be singing songs of praises live on stage at the ADD Convention Center or at the nearest local church. A biblical topic will be delivered in full by the overall servants followed by a consultation period during food breaks. Every quarter of each year, the congregation gather for a three-day international Thanksgiving of God's people, or Pasalamat ng Buong Bayan ng Dios PBB. In Tagalog, formerly called as International Thanksgiving to God (ITG) and Pasalamat ng Katawan (PNK), English Thanksgiving of the Body. It has a similar format with a weekly Thanksgiving, except it allows more time for the biblical topic and the consultation. In 2014, South America served as the host country of the church's quarterly event. The church celebrates Christian New Year. With a special thanksgiving every 1st of Nisan, using the Hebrew calendar, which falls around April. The Church also commemorates the sacrifice of Jesus Christ every 13th of Nisan. Places of Worship The 10 hectare Ang Dating Don ad compound in Apalit, Pampanga is MCGI's headquarters in the Philippines. It houses the ADD Convention Center where major church gatherings are held and the chapel, a multi-purpose venue for the community prayer, indoctrination sessions, prayer meetings and worship services. Other structures inside the compound include the baptistry, administration office, museum, transient home, orphanages, mini-hospital, dormitories for church officers and volunteers, houses for church ministers and workers and school buildings of La Verdad Christian College. MCGI has established more than a 1,360 local congregations. These venues are also called the Ang Dating Don Coordinating Centers or MCGI Satellite Monitoring Centers. 
It is where the brethren meet to attend church gatherings and host indoctrination sessions. Most of the sites are rented spaces in urban and rural communities in the Philippines and abroad. Equipped with C-band satellite dish antenna and high-speed broadband connection, these sites are able to receive real-time broadcast feeds emanating from the headquarters. Assigned church workers and officers oversee activities at the locale and receive queries regarding membership in the church. In 2012, a mobile coordinating center was launched. A bus transformed into a cozy venue with roof, chairs, television screen and satellite receiver, can accommodate guests in remote areas during Bible expositions. Criticism Since 1980, there have been conflicts between religious organizations Iglesia Ni Cristo, Church of Christ, Inc. and the Members Church of God International MCGI, when Alicio Soriano started his radio program Ang Dating Don ad. Through his program, he discussed biblical issues and exposed what he believes are wrong doctrines of other religious groups, including those of Inc. In 2001, after 21 years of silence on the issue, the INC launched its own program, Ang Tamung Don, English, The Right Path, as a direct response to Ang Dating Don and to rebuke the claims of Soriano, featuring video footages and recordings of ADD hosts as issues were tackled. Records on October 12, 2015, the Ang Dating Don Corral of MCGI officially broke the record of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, Inc., as the world's largest gospel choir in the Guinness Book of World Records. The ADD Corral consisting of 8,688 choristers render religious hymns during the 35th anniversary of the religious program Ang Dating Don at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. However, on May 22, 2016, Inc. regained the record with 21,262 choristers during their Gran Evangelical Mission at the Philippine Arena. References External links Official website of Eli Soriano Official website of Ang Dating Don TV Program Official website of Daniel Razon